Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, Prophet West, uh, Brother West, Ernest West, uh, coming to you uh, once again on this beautiful Tuesday morning. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall surely rejoice and be glad in it. This one I'm going to do after I um, release this message. I'm going to say a brief word of prayer. I'm going to start doing that even more at the end of uh, the messages to seal it with prayer. Today, um, if I if I can, I've been doing a lot of meditating, trying to find the uh, the right answer, uh, seeking God for wisdom. I've been seeking God for direction. Just concerning life, just like, as we do every day, uh, we just seek God. We seek God and because we face different challenges every day. Uh, and God uh, led me into uh, a certain person, personality in the Bible. And um, he wanted me to um, give instructions and identify where you are and what you're getting. And see, the thing about it, Many of you, you've asked for wisdom, you've asked for knowledge, you've asked for understanding, you've asked for revelation knowledge, you've asked for uh, clarity, all those things. The thing that you need to realize and understand is that you've asked for them, you're getting them. What you realize, what you must realize though, when you ask a question, and when God sends you the answer, you must recognize the answer. See, a lot of times we pray for a certain thing and we think that the answer is going to come one way, but God sends it another way and we reject it. We reject the very thing that we prayed for and then we wonder why we're still in the same spot. We're still in the same situation. We're still facing the same old thing. The Bible says, God says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. Oftentimes, troubles, sins, pains, discomforts, and a lot of times we find ourselves walking in place and doing the same thing over and over again is because when God has sent us, the, sent us the answer, we didn't recognize it. We sent it away. And because we sent it away, we sent away our blessing. Do not send away your blessing. And the Bible says to, to be careful about entertaining strangers uh, because it can be an angel unaware. This is where God tells us to watch as well as pray. We must be always obey, available and aware. Wisdom is the ability to recognize wisdom. This is like a wise man, a wise man or a wise person, a wise woman. That person might be wise, but what that person will do is surround themselves around people who doesn't have the information or the wisdom that they don't have. And what they do, that they, they, they will teach them that information. So wisdom is also the, the know-how uh, to how to apply. Knowledge is the know-how, but wisdom is how to apply what you know. It's the ability to know and how to get it. And so and in this case, when I say a minimum, you're praying, and you're asking God for a certain thing, you keep praying for the same thing, but God has sent it, but you don't recognize it, but you keep praying for the same thing. You keep searching and seeking and asking for what God has sent. And what I want to talk about is Solomon. Solomon in the Bible, in the book of Ecclesiastes, you can read the whole uh, book of Ecclesiastics, and, but he talks about wisdom and knowledge, and he talks about how to get it. And he talks about everything under the sun. He was given an assignment to recognize and, and notice and discover wisdom. And what he realized and understood was that under the earth, was a lot of vain, a lot of vanity, a lot of vain people, a lot of things that don't mean much, don't mean nothing at all. What he discovered to get wisdom and how he discovered to get knowledge is through foolishness, through pain, through rejection, through sorrow, and through grief. You've been asking for wisdom You've been asking for the direction. You've been asking for revelation knowledge. So even in the book of James, the Bible says, if any man lack of wisdom, let him ask. God giveth a braid of not. Liberally, he gives it. See, when you ask for it, 
what you're asking for is a release of pain. You're asking for a release of this uh, discouragement. You're asking for sufferings. You're asking where your life is so disrupted where you're the type of person you like control. But God will put you in a situation because you ask for the wisdom. He will put you in a place where you lose all control. And then you're losing all control. You're scrambling, trying to find the answer. You're scrambling, trying to find direction. You're scrambling, trying to find a solution to that situation. The, solution, the situation, it comes through the information, the revelation knowledge, it comes through our mistakes. We bump our head. We, we, we mess up. But we gather ourselves. We don't allow the mistakes. We don't allow messing up to define us. We don't stay down. But we extract the information from the test. We abstract the information from the lesson because it's a teaching moment. It's a teaching moment. Anytime we get in a situation where we fail, we get in a situation where we don't hit the target like we should, it's a teaching moment. It's a moment that we should learn from it. A learn, address, assess, and know what to do and what not to do the next time. Uh, for Like I've said, for I've been ministering for over 30-something years. I, I became licensed at 20. I'm 52 now for... 20 some years I was on the backside and I was wondering what was wrong with me and um, what was wrong why was I left behind and the reason why God was protecting me he let me know that my warfare was also my shield protecting me from things that he was protecting me from he was preparing me but what he was doing he was allowing me uh, to, to let my peers go forth and me to see the mistake they made and what I learned to do is what what they didn't do, I learned not to do that. The mistakes that they made, I decided, and I've noticed and I've observed, to do the total opposite. We're in a season now that God wants us to observe. Some things that God revealed to us, some things that God gives to us in prayer, it's not for us to say nothing about it. Some stuff God gives us for us to pray. Pray for change. Pray for direction. Pray for certain situations. It's not always to, 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 to say that this is going to happen, but some stuff God gives us is to pray that it don't happen. That's how it reveals it to you. When God has made you a person who's given to prayer, a prayer warrior, someone who's on the wall praying. And so that's what make you aware of these certain things. The changes are coming. That's why the changes are there. But those changes, those rejections, this discomfort, it's a download of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's a download. It's a download. Your grief and your pain, it's the download. So, but what you have to do, you have to allow the download to run its course. To run its process so in that process you can't complain and be all angry and and disrupt the growth because when you disrupt the growth you disrupt the process and then what happens is that you will run the risk of becoming undeveloped when you get out of the fire when you get out of being made then what happens you be half made or whatever made that or whatever process or stage that you was in when you've been made so stay in the fire stay in the situation because the situation itself it's making you, it's shaping you, it's shaping wisdom, it's shaping knowledge, it's shaping understanding. I know it's coming at a, a costly costly price because it's almost like an even exchange. For the pain comes the wisdom. For the pain comes the revelation knowledge. Uh, for, from the pain comes the information. And so the revelation, the, revel, the revelation, the wisdom is being revealed through your suffering. Good morning.